If you think you've had a tough life, Oprah Winfrey's story and life lessons will inspire you to become passionate about life again. Oprah Winfrey was born in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Her parents were married and separated soon after conception. Oprah had a difficult childhood. She lived in great poverty and often had to dress in potato sacks for which she was marked at school. She was also sexually abused at an early age. From the age of 14, she went out to live with her father. Oprah says he was strict, but she was in the mood to be disobedient during her teenage years. After working her way through college, she became interested in journalism and media and got her first job as a news anchor for a local TV station. The Oprah Winfrey Show has proved to be one of the most successful and highly watched TV show of all time. It has broken many social and cultural barriers, such as gay and lesbian issues. Oprah has also remained a powerful role model for women and black American women in particular. She is credited with promoting an intimate, confessional form of media communication that has been imitated globally. In recent years, The Oprah Winfrey Show has focused on issues of self-improvement, spirituality, and help. Diet has also been a big issue with Oprah, once successfully losing a lot of weight. Her subsequent diet book sold millions of copies. Her range of media enterprise has made Oprah one of the richest self-made women. The Forbes International Rich List has listed Winfrey as the world's only black billionaire from 2004 to 2006 and as the first black woman billionaire in world history. In 2014, Winfrey has a net worth of more than $2.9 billion. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some words from Oprah Winfrey which will inspire you to become passionate about life again. 1. The biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. Once, Oprah Winfrey's grandmother was spreading clothes on the clothesline when little Oprah was watching. Her grandmother said to her, Watch the way I do this. You too will be a maid someday. You have to know how to spread clothes like I and your four beers. Well, little Oprah Winfrey rejected it. Instead, she vowed she would become a famous presenter and TV show host. Today, she is notably one of the most influential women in the world. There is nobody in the world who lacks dreams. We all have things we desire to have or become. No matter how brutal life has dealt with us, too often, happiness and fulfillment are tied to the pursuit of those dreams in our hearts. As poet James Langston Hughes said, hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Follow your dreams. It may seem too late to do so, but it is better to go to your grave knowing you tried than you never tried. 2. Doing the best at this moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. You may not have the perfect situation for this moment, but doing your best at this moment will put you in a better place in the future. It's not often easy to rise up to write the scripts for these videos, but each day, with a determination to get something to you, I wake up and write anyway. Too often, we may not get it perfect when we try. We don't have to get things perfect when we try. We just need to try deliberately, and that is all that matters. The best you do at this moment may not put you in a perfect place later, but it sure will take you a step closer to becoming the person you were supposed to be. So, do your best now. If by tomorrow you want to rest more, choose to work more today. The work you push off doesn't get itself done. It will always wait for you until it's done. 3. Where there is no struggle, there is no strength. The presence of struggle is an opportunity for us to build strength. Oprah Winfrey had a terrible childhood, but there were the bases upon which most of her life's endeavors were built. They motivated her to become better, work harder, and achieve her life's goals. It's natural for us to dislike struggles. It's natural for our bodies to reject struggles, but it is through these unstoppable experiences that we become better. I learned to take very good care of my health when I suffered ill health for close to two years due to some health mismanagement on my part. I learned to appreciate the lesson of saving and investing a portion of my earning when, for two years plus, I was dead broke because I had mismanaged money when I was earning so much. Our strengths so often come from our struggles. It may not be fun now, but in the end, we get better. 4. Turn your words into wisdom As a little girl, Oprah Winfrey was repeatedly abused. She could have used that as an excuse to lay back in self-pity, hoping things would get better. She chose to use that as a fulcrum to push her to success. We can sit down to bemoan our bad situation, or we can turn those wounds into wisdom that guide us into success. What matters is not what happens to us, 
but what we do with what happens to us. Your life's experiences are a pointer to the depth of success you can achieve. The depth of our struggle may also determine the height of our success if we would just allow it. 5. You can have it all. You just can't have it all at once. There is no shortcut to success. There is a quote that says that if you want to succeed, just do what successful people do. That is true. If we do exactly what successful people do, it will not exempt us from the struggles they faced. It will not exempt us from the long period of waiting before we hit our success. You can have success bit by bit. Just don't expect to have it all at once. So many young people have sacrificed their destinies on the altar of dangerous shortcuts in the bid to have success overnight. This won't work. What you have while waiting, you will enjoy in the long run. You can't finish an elephant in one piece. Little by little, you achieve your success. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.